In this video, let us have a first look at the Nothing Launcher, which gives us a first glimpse of what to expect from the first smartphone from the new smartphone brand Nothing. So, without wasting any further time, let's do the same. We will be installing the Nothing Launcher on the Moto G52 smartphone. Go to the Google Play Store and search for Nothing, and you will find an app called Nothing Launcher Beta. Just click on download button and install the same on the Moto G52 or any smartphone that is currently running on Android 11 and Android 12 operating system. Once done, you have to set this as a default home app so that it can replace the already existing launcher. I have done the same on the Moto G52. As you can see, it comes with a new wallpaper which is again limited to the new Nothing launcher that will be also available on the Nothing phone which will soon be launched in India and across the world. A few prominent features of this Nothing launcher is that it comes with a customized widget. There is a customized watch widget and there is also a customized weather widget. So now let us look at those actual widgets and how it makes the smartphone look. I think except for these new widgets and wallpapers, the Nothing Launcher is almost similar to a stock Android user experience. Again, as this is still in a beta version, the company might soon release updates for the same app and might install new features or new capabilities into the Nothing Launcher beta, which will soon be available for more devices from brands like OnePlus, Samsung and more. As you can see, currently I have set up two widgets from the Nothing Launcher. One is the time widget and another is the weather widget, which has a dot matrix like design, which has been a key design element of the brand Nothing, which we can also see on the Nothing Ear One earphone. Again, if you want to remove or if you want to uninstall the Nothing Launcher, you can do the same by going to the setting menu or you can just uninstall the app and your smartphone will start using the rebuilt launcher. In this case, it will use a stock Android launcher that is available on the Moto G52 smartphone. It has a similar styled app tray, which is again similar to most of the Android smartphones that offer stock Android user interface. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get a notification anytime we upload a new video. This is Vivek signing off.